Hello beloved Twin Flames, this is Stephanie Parasha, Divine Light, coming out to you from New Zealand, Aotearoa. Uh, I've tried to record this video probably about three times and I'm really hoping this is the one that's going to get through. Um, as you probably are aware, things are really, 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 really <laughs> um, activated and intense right now. There's just so much going on in my world I'm not sure about yours please do comment below if there is a lot of intensity for me partly also I do work in a job where we do have a lot of well I work in the mental health sector so basically we've got a lot of people pinging off left right and center a lot of the time but this particular week it's not just been with the clients, people that are coming in to the service in mental distress, but also I'm seeing it around me um, and our staff are also experiencing it within their own families. I'm seeing breakups, suicide attempts, deaths, accidents. We had an earthquake this week in New Zealand. Um, it's definitely feeling like things are getting really, really, really hyped up. Um, the numbers have been pretty intense for me, um, seeing just so many numbers, sequences, and um, you know, I was thinking, what can I actually say? What is the meaning of all of this? And also, how does it relate to Twin Flames? So, uh, as we know, you know, Twin Flames are also light workers. So, in the light worker path, um, our role is to be aware of when things are taking place that seem a little bit more heightened than usual that's a signal for us that we need to try and maintain calmness as much as we can we need to try and be in love as much as possible and be aware if we're dropping into fear how we can bring ourselves back to being kind of surrendered and not falling into the um, surrender but yet at the same time realizing that there's a lesson in it and and um, not holding on. Um, sometimes my automatic reaction when I feel a lot of intensity or a lot of anxiety or a lot of fear around me, I will tend to want to protect myself. So I go into a protection mode and I call on the angels and ask for them to help me through this. And then a lot of the time I'm also being told, just trust, just keep trusting, just keep surrendering and don't resist it or move away from it. Just keep going into it and, and really experiencing what's going on but with a really open heart and an open mind and um, just keep trusting. So um, where do I want to go further with this? Okay so then I've started wondering what's to do with my twin flame. Um, you know he's actually just come back into the country after being away for um, over a month uh, traveling and so I can really feel him back in the country we've been in contact and I'm just actually so grateful to have him much more physically close and I feel a lot more settled in myself I lot feel a lot more calm and balanced and kind of just at peace a feeling that I haven't had for some time so whilst all of this energetics is going on around the atmosphere and I'm seeing um, a lot of people just kind of wowing out and even other people were noticing it they're saying wow things are really full on right now wow things are really intense right now so tonight I was uh, just sort of going about my business and not really thinking about anything in particular and I got a song come through and uh, I know often when it's a song that it's there's a meaning in it and it comes through in a different kind of frequency it's like a different kind of let's say a different ringtone that seems to come through when there's a message coming through from spirit or from my twin in the in the guise of a song and so I had some of the lyrics which is quite often the case I'll get a few of the lyrics I'll kind of get the beat I'll get the a bit of the tune and then I'm like right now which song is that and I have to go through my memory bank and thank goodness for Google because if I just put in like a line of a song and even if it's not the title of the song Google picks it up and throws it back to me. So I was quite interested in this song that was, um, it's a New Zealand song. So those of you that are, oh sorry, and there I go, I've just played some of it. <laughs> I was actually trying to scroll down to get um, the lyrics. So the song is by Split Ends and they're a classic New Zealand band. They 
kind of were very, very popular from about the 70s, 80s through the 90s. And then they actually um, kind of changed and morphed into another band, merging and creating a new band called Crowded House, which was again another popular New Zealand band. Um, And this particular song is called Message to My Girl. And when I read the lyrics, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It was um, put out in 1983, so it's an 80s song. Uh, and quite often on this journey, for me in particular, I know that it happens to other Twin Flames too, we often get songs left from the 80s timelines for us. So this is the, I'm going to read out the lyrics, I will leave the link below so you can hear the song, those of you that aren't familiar with it, but the meaning of the lyrics are, I believe, quite profound, and I just use my Twin Flame um, situation as I don't say all twin flames are up to this stage and we're all at different stages along our journey but um, I really feel like many twin flames that have been particularly the masculines kind of hiding out um, burying their heads in the sand a little bit and not really coming forward but yet we keep feeling and knowing that this is you know they do care about us and those twin flames that have been through a lot of doubt and and wondering whether this is real or not, those twin flames that have decided to really commit to the path and just without a doubt dedicate to it no matter what, like we've got nothing to lose. Uh, so I'm speaking for myself here and I know that many of us have also decided to, you know, to stop doubting and to trust in this and um, the other thing, even though, you know, we do go into doubt but we just bring ourselves back and the other thing is that whole knowing thing around a lot of people question of my twin flames not showing up for me and they don't love me anymore um, or they're not showing that love to me and they're not even in contact with me I might as well go off and date someone else now I know that I've tried that a few times it's pretty much ended in disaster every time and now I can't when I even think about it I just know that's not right it feels gross and I'm quite um confident in saying that I know that my twin flame is the only one for me but yet at the same time I'm really um, prepared to for that not to happen for us in this lifetime if that's the case and we don't come together in the physical form I've also surrendered to letting that go but yet at the same time I still know he's the only one for me if you know what I mean so it's kind of dropping that codependency of the need for it to happen but at the same time knowing and trusting and committing that without it doesn't matter because I will still love him anyway and I know that I will never be with anyone else so um, that might sound really foolish to some people and that's fine you've got your own opinion Um, that's what I choose to feel and I'm going to stick to that and so this is the song that my twin flame I believe has just communicated to me telepathically through our higher selves Um, and these are the words I don't want to say I love you that would give away too much it's hip to be detached and precious the only thing you feel is vicious I don't want to say I want you even though I want you so much it's wrapped up in conversation it's whispered in a hush though I'm frightened by the word I think it's time that it was heard no more empty self-possession visions swept under the mat it's no new year's resolution it's more than that and now I, I wake up happy warm in a lover's embrace no one else can touch us while we're in this place so I'll sing it to the world this simple message to my girl no more empty self-possession vision swept under the mat it's no new year's resolution it's more than that though I'm frightened by the word I think it's time I made it heard so I sing it to the world simple message to my girl and then it repeats itself for quite a while Um, And then there's a bit that says that, no, there's nothing quite as real as a touch of your sweet hand. I can't spend the rest of my life buried in the sand. (laughs) So, um, yeah, even though I'm frightened by the word, I think it's time that it was heard. And then repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, But, yeah, pretty much the essence of that song. um, And I think I looked it up on sort of the lyrics, meaning of lyrics, and people were just saying, you know, it's a guy that really has to come out of his shell and say he loves his girlfriend and stop 
burying his head in the sand and trying to avoid the issue and being worried about how it might look or sound. So th- I hope that that resonates for those twin flames that feel that they can resonate with these messages. Uh, I think it's a welcome <laughs> and much um, rece- well received message from the Divine Masculines and I know that many of you will resonate with this and I can really feel it hitting um, my solar plexus actually um, and quite often you know these I do believe in these these messages these ways of communicating because they just feel so right and they hit all the parts of me where it feels right so yeah anyway I am going to leave it there uh, I really hope that you're all doing well out there and I'm sending you a lot of love and a lot of support and a lot of healing and yeah, just some genuine, good old common sense and um, sense of humour is always helpful as well on this path when sometimes it feels like things are just really difficult, um, like to just sort of bring it back to um, the possibilities um, and the hope, which I never give up on. Okay then, everyone, bye for now. Thank you so much for listening.